Yeah, I gotta. This guy's a nut, man. <clears throat> a nut. No, you're the nutter. You're a straight nutter. I don't know where to take this podcast. I have extreme back pains that are um, paining me. Kamzat Chimaev is is a problem. I'm just letting it be known. We shot an episode right after the UFC last week, wherein uh, UFC 260, what was it, seven, and uh, I believe, and and Kamzat Chimaev made it, and as well as Islam Makachev and Glover Teixeira and um, you know many great performances of the night but but comes up comes up so all I gotta say is that it's comes out he's coming he's a problem he's an issue I am and, and tomorrow better. Usman is he's, he's a problem a problem but but yeah Carl Usman all day every day man African king I'm you know coming by the whole UFC, brother. Coming. Nah. Yeah, He's man. a problem. Nah. He's Co- an issue. Yo, Cosmo, man, you got to do more. You know what I'm saying? You got to fight a couple more dudes before you even step to the champ. And the champ got to fight Cole Covington. So, kind of got to wor- worry about that first. November 6th. It's coming. It, I mean, it's about to come this Saturday. So, yeah, man. The main uh, UFC, what is it, 269? Uh, 68 or 69. Some, I think it's 68. Yeah, it's UFC 268 coming at y'all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be an electric, it's an electric card because it's not even just, it's Carl Uzman, Cody Covington, Rose Nominu as Zhang Wing Lee 2. And then we also got uh, Justin Gagey and Michael Chandler, lightly about. Yeah, man, it should be a. It's it's it's, it's gonna be a great card, you know. what I'm saying great UFC fights. Uh, for the main car, for the main fight, I got definitely got Kamar Usman. Shout out to the, you know, what I'm saying Nigerian nightmare. He's a problem. He's a fucking problem. Colby Covington has nothing on, dude. And yeah, I do. I have uh the Nigerian nightmare as well. But honestly, it's gonna be a great while fight. We, while we. Hopefully, hopefully, um, hopefully, hopefully, I, I, I see Kamaru finishing it earlier. Mm-hmm. I do see that. I see that. That would, uh, I really see that. And, and, and I, oh. and I even see a corny call out of Kamza. I see it. A very corny call out of Kamza. I can't call it. Who, who, who Kobe calls. <clears throat> Come shot, Chimia. <laughs> you like that? You like that? Yeah, that's, Kobe, that's actually that's actually funny. That's pretty fucking hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's hilarious. That's, yeah, hilarious. hilarious. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny, man. That's a good <laughs> one, Cole Covington. That's that's good. That, that's great. No Bernie, not Francis and Ganu. <laughs> hey, by the way, we're, we're live on twitch.tv forward slash Jairus Rogue. Uh, I did not put that on my Instagram. I just I just had us talking. But, yeah, we are live. Listen, Kamzat's coming for the entire thing. Islam Makachev is coming for the entire thing. Char- 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 Charles Oliveras. Shout out to my Brazilians. Um, Charles. And I never know how to pronounce those names. But y'all are y'all, y'all some beautiful people. Really, really, really great people. We'll talk. But, um... I just don't, I don't, yeah, Dustin's got that, but Makachev, man, he... Wait a second, wait a second. Charles Oliveira, Dustin Poirier, who you got? Diamond. Clean and easy. He's just more about... Clean and easy! He's just more battle-tested, and he's just more, you know, at the top level. In my eyes. Could be even. In terms of like you know time, because I, I I you know, I'm not exactly sure how long Charles Oliveira has been inside of the UFC, but for a while they do tell that it's been for a while. It's been a long road to the belt. He has the most submissions in UFC history. I don't see Dustin Poirier getting submitted by him, but or again, in lightweight history. But then again, you know Khabib. So, listen, man, I I believe in the diamond. He you know. 
I believe in him. I just, and Charles Oliveira has knocked some dudes out. But yeah, no, the diamond, no, no, no. Dustin Poirier is a guy. He is a problem. You know what I'm saying? He is a great boxer. Maybe, probably rivaling Max Holloway is one of the two like greatest boxers in the UFC right now. So, uh, yeah. And Oliveira did get that knockout on Chandler, you know? Which was beautiful. Grizzly. Grizzly shit. Because it wasn't just a knockout. Because he got, he got a, first the counter punch. And then when Michael Chandler was running away, he just caught him with the left hook and just ended him. It was great. So, shit, it's going to be a great fight. But, yeah. No, but, this, Justin, though. but this Saturday, though, yeah. Kamar Usman, Dub, uh... I got Feroz, Nami Nunez, and Zhang Wing Lee. Low key, I got. This the way Rose Nami Nunez came in that first fight. Just that energy she gave out was just bone chilling. How she just was like, I'm the best, I'm the best. Yeah, yeah that shit was bone chilling. That bald head, you like that? Yeah, no, that bald head just gave me even just. That bald head. Yeah, no, nah, shout out to the bald head. No, nah, shout out to that bald head, Thug Rose shit, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, yes, sir. But, yeah, for that fight, I definitely got a... I don't know. I got a toss-up. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I think it's just going to be a great fight. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to be a great fight. I can't call it. And then Chandler and Justin Gagey... Hmm. Chael Sonnen said they're like the same nigga, so <laughs> so pretty much they gotta stop doing that because they gotta they got one one man has to go for the belt, and they might like neutralize each other's effort to even get towards a child title shot, something like that. I th- I'm pretty sure I'm butchering his uh, opinion, but I don't know. I don't know enough about Michael Chandler. I haven't seen enough of his fights. Only saw the one in the UFC. Didn't follow his career before that. They said, champion of Bellator, da 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 so. I saw one fight, his one Bellator fight for the championship. He lost it, but it was a straight war. It was a great fight. Okay. He did all he could to win. He showed his wrestling, showed his striking. It, you know, it's a great fight. It's a Chandler versus Barbosa, I believe. Yeah. Hmm. Listen, man. Uh, what else do you have on that card? You got. Oh, yeah. So who do you have on on the Chandler Gaethje fight? <clears throat> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Chandler. Chandler by decision. Yeah, Chandler by decision. No, no knockout. No, no, uh, no, no submission. Just Chandler by decision. It goes the full three. Uh, okay, and then you had uh, I think Thug Rose. Yeah, I I, I think I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna say Thug Rose got it on that second fight. I ain't gonna lie, she's just uh, that was impressive, the way she put it on her, Zhang Weili, first time. So, well, Zhang Weili's a that monster. That's now determined to not get knocked out, but I think she was already a monster. She was already like. Like that, so, um, we'll yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see. We will see. I mean, because that's really two repeats for uh, Thug Rose and the Kamaru fight. It's it's repeats of fights that um, or dominations, very uh, different dominations. Uh, well, very different dominations. But Colby Covington got. I mean, he got finished. He got TKO'd. How the fuck? They both got TKO'd. Yeah, but, but Rose Very different. did it in the first round. And sure. Co- co- you know, co- Kamar Usman and Kamar Covington went through a whole ass war. And he, yes, Kamar Usman broke his jaw, yes. And mm-hmm. he finished him, yes. But they did get go through a whole war. Kamar Covington, there was times where we were like, oh, shit. It's Kamar Usman. He, he's a little shaken up. Like, you know, there was times when we were a little, you know, nervous. So, but what we... I, you know, really did see throughout that fight, and especially how the fight ended, Kamaro not looking fresh, but looking just very, very good, standing on the feet after having broken this man's jaw, taken many shots, to then go on with the Gilbert Burns fight, 
to then go on with the Masvidal fight, and we saw how those ended. The first it's fight. It's just, and then the second fight. It just you look at it, you just look at it all, and you go, Kamaru Usman coming into this fight has this chip on his shoulder that, yes, I knocked you out, but you kind of had that little okay, whatever. You, you know, your jaw was broken, but you you know you could have on his you, shield. You, you still on his shield. You, you know, you won the fourth round. You know, whatever. But similarly, you know, it's just a chip on the shoulder of both these champions here, being uh, Kamaru Usman and Thug Rose Nama Yunus. So, um, it's a chip that they I do believe they're gonna both clear. Like spectacularly. I just don't I just don't see this new this Kamaru Usman fight going uh as long as the first one. I, I really don't. I don't know why. I just don't. Especially not after the Mosfidal thing. It just it just felt to me like, okay, no, nah, this dude's just getting better. So he's getting better. But then again, I mean, and Gilbert Burns, who was bro, he's a fucking beast. But all right. So what do you got? Like a second round finish? I got a third round finish. Mm. Third round finish around the fourth minute. You know? Okay. Usman just smothers him. But then again, it may get off to a slow start. May get into those uh, l- late rounds and the same thing. But I, I really don't see. I definitely don't see a dub for Colby Covington. And if that happens, that uh, is quite. That's just not even the the reality I wish to be in. I'm sorry. I got full faith in Kamar Usman, but I think Colby Covington is gonna bring it to him, man. And uh, I don't know if he's gonna be necessarily finished. I feel like it may be another five rounder. Or shit, cut cut them like catch them. Fighting TJ Dillashaw. Man, it's a rough, you know, some rough shit going on. Uh, in other in other kind of UFC news, wow. Aljamain Sterling says that he isn't concerned about uh Dillashaw. He said, uh, let that let that bitch ass nigga wait. Basically, and he said, uh, yeah, the the next opportunity for Jan should be for the champion. Me, I'm the champ, or or the number one guy, or whatever. I don't know. So I just wanted to bring that up. Your boy Aljo is saying, "Yeah, my neck," but nah, don't take me out yet. Don't move on. And uh, it's pretty, it's pretty sad. I just think I don't know. I don't know what to make of Aljamain Sterling. I think uh, if the neck injury is so severe. Get out. Just get out. What are you doing? Holding up the line. But if not, then fight. Because you got to fight, dog. Right? I mean. Nah, uh, man. You gotta, Yo, you, get your body right. Or just get out. Get your and body just, right. And, and, and work it back up. Get, Relinquish get, and just work it back up. That would be the honorable thing. Relinquish the belt and just say, okay, I got to take some time. And when I come back, shit, put me back down. Like, you know, probably like Hell find me somewhere in the wait, rankings. Wait, 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 So Okay, wait. He yeah. can do that. I actually kind of agreed to do that because, you know, if the injuries are very severe, man, don't rush into a fight where you're not fully 100%. So I do agree that, hey, relinquish the belt. But when he does come back, he should be able to do the TJ Dillashaw kind of thing. I fight a top three contender, top five contender. That's it. Like that that's it. Like if I don't fight a top five contender, then I'm not gonna I'm not doing this shit. I'm not I'm not coming back. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense to go all the way back down the rankings and all that. Nah. When I come back, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna fight a top guy and get their ranking. Ooh, Aljamain. It's just but but it's just like what T J Dillashaw did with right. Corey Sanhagen. He you know, the layoff. Came back, beat Sanhagen, and now he's a t- he's a top contender now. Boom, just like that. Now now he's gonna possibly fight Peter Young for the championship and became but, and possibly become the bantamweight champion. But Peter Young is a fucking dog. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He is quite impressive, and his win over Corey Sanhagen at uh two sixty seven. It was a. Uh, Championship like I think is what I want to say. Wherein you know, this guy didn't outstrike 
uh, Corey Sanhagen. Because I, I believe Corey Sanhagen had a much higher output in it. But Peter Yan with them significant strikes, man. My man was, gut, you know, he was, he, was, he was aiming to fucking kill. Like, he was aiming to just, like, really, oh, yeah, that, really that significantly hurt him. Yeah, yeah, um, Peter Jan, uh I believe he 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 didn't have as many strikes as Corey Sandhagen, but but he really adapted high. well to Corey Sandhagen Corey Sandhagen's style, and he would crack him in the right times with, and the way Peter Jan seems like he's fighting is with like just precision and power, because <laughs> he he you know he doesn't he didn't have the length that Corey Sandhagen has because he's he's shorter than him, but. The way he boxes is so precise, but with so much power with it. Like, yeah, like this punch could is it's gonna it's definitely going to hurt you, and you're definitely gonna feel it. Like every punch is effective. Like, so yeah, it's a uh, yeah. Tyrion is he's great because he adapts mid fight to what you're doing, which which he also showed in Aljamain's Sterling fight before. Uh, you know, he he did what he did, the legal move. Well like. adapted to to the fight, we we expected him to keep things on the feet. Wrestled in this fight, he he, he kept things more so on the feet, and uh, he, he kind of reminds me of um, mm. Valentina Shevchenko, like how she how he just kind of adjusted to Aljamain's way of fighting, and instead of like oh oh you want to wrestle? All right, let me embarrass you. Like I, <laughs> it like that's just nasty. Oh, that's such a nasty way of fighting. Like, oh, you, people are saying that you're the wrestler, you're the you're the big wrestler guy who's gonna take me down and submit me. All right, let me get the most takedowns on you in in this division, and he did. And it, it was, but he didn't say that, but he 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 just did it. Like that was just the showsmanship. Like, oh fuck, like I could do that. Like, yeah, you're you're the big takedown submission guy, Osman Sterling, but. No, when it comes to me, I'm the balanced. I can, st- I'll strike you. I can take you down. It doesn't matter. Cause yeah, when you replay that fight, that that's exactly what was happening. And then I was trying to give Aljamain Sterling the benefit of the doubt. I thought he could come back. I think it was about the fourth round when the legal move happened, the legal knee. But uh, yeah. Now when you when when you when you look back at that fight, uh, he really was getting pieced up. And wrestled out and yeah. just tossed around, essentially. <laughs> I mean, like, Jesus Christ. Oh, well, yeah. But, hey, man. And it was in the fucking apex. So, you really heard and saw all of it. Like, it was like. Yeah. It was very yeah. intimate. Yeah. So. But he's the champion. No. But he, but, but he's the champion. And, 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 hey, I ain't worried about no TJ Dillashaw. So, shout out to Aljamain Sterling. Stand, stand on your shit, boy. Hell, yeah. You the champion. Mm-hmm. Peter Young? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, intern. Yeah, all right. You fight me next. Dude, my mic thingy is completely destroyed. Oh, fuck. We're having some technical difficulties here on the pod. Some mechanical difficulties. I also just want to kind of pivot away from the UFC. Yes. How was your week, Nigel? How are you? Uh, yeah. Like what? What's up, my brother? I'm doing all right. You know what I'm saying. I've been streaming on Twitch on NW. You know, Twitch dot NW dot com with two Y's. NW 